Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode, we are checking out more explosives update, because guys, in my test video, I asked you guys, what did you want to see using this new update? And you guys were mentioning an active volcano that actually erupts, so now we are actually able to do it. So in this video, I'm going to do a time lapse of the building of the tile and this little world that we're in, and then we're going to do a run through of how this volcano works because as you can see it's still erupting this thing is absolutely active and it is loads of fun and there is a little bit of bad news that is tied in with this build and I will discuss that a little bit after the time lapse so why don't we hop into the time lapse we will check that out and I will see you guys on the other side Alright, so we're back in the world and we are going to make our way to the volcanic island using this beautiful little airboat that I have made. Now I actually made this quite some time ago and I never actually did a video on it or anything so I figured why not use it right now. But guys, so this world is pretty interesting. Now I decided to add a whole bunch of tiles around the perimeter just to kind of give it that feel that this is actually like a volcanic region and there are multiple islands that are forming in the area. And of course over here we do have ourselves the active volcano. So we are going to make our way over here and, and this is a really cool airboat by the way guys. This is using the buoyancy mod as well as the wing mod. It is loads of fun. I'll put a link in the description if you do want to check this out on the Steam Workshop. But guys we are going to beach ourselves right about here. Ah perfect. And we are going to check out the island. 
So one thing I must say is this island looks really nice. I'm using the Ikey Vegetation mod, which comes with these beautiful palm trees that I've placed all over the place, so it's kind of nice to be able to mix the tile editor with the actual game and getting these very, very unique environments. But we can make our way through all of these trees and see this is the base of the volcano. So of course, guys, I used some giant boulders, and we can actually climb our way all the way to the top. All right, just a little bit closer, and ah, there we go. This is the actual crater of the volcano. Now, this is clearly maybe not what you were expecting to see. Uh, I mean, we have some type of, like, lava here, but it's not really lava. This is actually just an entire base platform that I have created so that I could build, whoa, this thing right here. So this is what I would kind of consider the actual volcano. So what I ended up doing was created this thing that I call a volcano bomb. We can build it right now and this is pretty interesting actually. So this is just a device that I made that can work in conjunction with this little conveyor belt here and that we can have some timed explosions. So I'm going to explain how it works right now. So what we do though is we spawn those volcano bombs here, we weld them and then drop them on to the conveyor belt and what happens is we can have probably about three of them that's how many I usually put but we start this right here and this is just a delay timer for these electric motors and what happens is you can set a delay so that you actually have time to run away down the side of the volcano just like this here and get a nice view of the explosion so one thing I did do is I kind of cheated and I saved the world so I'm gonna put this as a world download there'll be a link in the description guys and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you load right into it so when you download this world this is what you are going to be spawning into I have three of the volcano bombs already set up on the conveyor belt ready to go so right now I'm basically just gonna show you guys what this looks like and then we're gonna get some really nice angles and views of the actual volcano blowing up so you know what actually uh, I'm gonna reset this because I don't feel like waiting 30 seconds. Alright, there we go. Now let's just press the switch and there you go guys. You can see the conveyor belt is now working. So I'll get a chance to kind of explain what's happening here. So as you can see, the volcano bombs move along the track and they are going to end up right about here. So I have a sensor here that triggers this entire mechanism to flip the volcano bomb away from the conveyor belt so that it doesn't get destroyed and that the volcano bomb can blow up safely off in the distance just like that so you can see it's going to start a timer in the bomb it's just going to count down a few little seconds and then there is a self-triggering spud gun that will blow it up just like that and I just realized actually I don't have particles on. Alright, so that first one was a little dud because I didn't have particles on, and that's really actually kind of disappointing here. Now, I'm just going to delete all of that before... Okay, no, I better... I got to get out of here. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I got to get out of here. Uh-oh. The conveyor belt. It's glitched. What's going to happen? I hope that doesn't blow up. Alright, here we go. This is the second volcano bomb. Perfect. Alright, look, it didn't blow up the conveyor belt. So there you go. So what's happening is these sensors right here are sliding down on this and they get triggered by the uh, the color pink. So what's going to happen is they come into range, they activate the internal timer of the volcano bomb, and once it counts down a few seconds, it goes off. So now that we have seen exactly what is going on with this active volcano, why don't we just turn it on another time here and we are going to kind of make our way down the side of the mountain a little bit here and what I like to do is grab myself a seat so I can get some good third person viewage here now I just want to find it flat there we go so we're gonna zoom out just like this and now we get to see the bombs explode and this is also going to give me an opportunity to explain to you the problem that is with these explosives all right so I think I just heard it land in the back we are about to see this thing go off it is absolutely awesome oh there we go look at that that is one heck of an eruption so now what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to get out of the seat we're just gonna make our way down the side of the mountain just a little bit further and now we're gonna get a view from down here and I've noticed though that the explosions just like in the fireworks and stuff like that they don't render if they are too far away uh, which is really disappointing and I completely forgot about it when I was working on this but now you can see we can still see the explosion from right here now I'm wondering though if we go down to the next level here which is essentially just on the ground if we can't see it then okay I just heard it oh there we go we can actually see it that is not bad but I did try 
and get some good footage from like a little bit further back like around here and I just couldn't do it because I couldn't see the debris. So now I know what you're probably thinking. Those are pretty cool. I mean we get to see some awesome explosions from this volcano but I mean, we can definitely make bigger explosions, can't we? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in some explosives with a lot of cardboard and we are just going to set that off without using the volcano conveyor belt. Alright, so we're going to start this off with a relatively small explosion. I've got three large canisters with a whole bunch more cardboard, I mean concrete. Alright, let's do this. Let's hop in. Oh no, hop into the sea. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be a much bigger explosion. Oh yeah, wow, that was so epic, that was so much better. Alright, it's time for Active Volcano Round 2. I think you guys can tell right now that this is going to be a lot more epic than the last one. Alright, here we go. Oh jeez, yes, look at this. We can look down and see the debris raining all around the volcano. Oh man, that is awesome. Alright, so I'm going to do this medium-sized explosion one more time and try and get a really cool thumbnail for this video. And then I'm going to do like a grand finale where I'm basically just going to fill this entire crater up with all sorts of explosives. So here we go, guys. I've given myself a little bit of extra time on that timer there because I want to be able to get to this little walkway here. We're going to walk all the way to the end just like this. Alright, so now I'm going to turn this way. I think... I think, what do you guys think? This would probably be a pretty cool thumbnail, maybe right about here. Now, it's gonna be all about timing, though. Alright, I just heard the spud gun. Here we go. And I just took a bunch of pictures, and... I didn't get to see all the debris, which is actually the problem I was mentioning before. Well, like I said, guys, I am going to do like a grand finale here, so I am going to spend a little bit of time filling up this entire crater with a ridiculous amount of explosives and I'm going to stand ridiculously close to it because I definitely want to be able to see all of this awesome destruction. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a substantial amount of cardboard as well as explosives. I'm just kind of adding the final touches here for the extra boom, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off. We're going to get down into that seat right there and get a beautiful view and hopefully see all of the rendered debris. So let's turn this timer on. All right, this is it, guys. It is time for the massive kaboom on this volcano. Let's see it happen. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a massive explosion and hardly any debris. So, in conclusion, I really do hope that the devs increase the render distance and render quality of the debris that comes from these explosives, but guys, nonetheless, I really do think this build is absolutely awesome, and it is loads of fun, and these explosives are definitely pushing the creative boundaries of Scrap Mechanic. So guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I sure hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy the build or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button button and guys if you want to tune in for more endless scrap mechanic then subscribe to the channel maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanic so that is going to be it for me today guys and I will be seeing you in the next one so bye for now